This is Mrs. Zappia with Lesson 4, Numbers Raised to the Zero Power, and Lesson 5, Negative Exponents and the Laws of Exponents, for Module 1, 8th grade. Student Outcomes for this lesson. Students know that a number raised to the zeroth power is equal to 1. Students recognize the need for the definition to preserve the properties of exponents. Student Outcomes for Lesson 5. Students know the definition of a number raised to a negative exponent. Students simplify and write equivalent expressions that contain negative exponents. We are going to start with lesson 5, and our essential question is, what happens when you raise a base to a negative exponent? You're going to need a calculator for this section, so pause the video and get your calculator. So we will use a calculator to simplify and convert the decimal answers to fractions, then write the fractions using exponential notation. For example, 2 squared, you would enter on your calculator. 2 raised to the second power, and that equals 4. 2 raised to the first power equals 2. 2 raised to the zero power equals 1. That might surprise you. We'll come back to that. 2 raised to the negative 1 power equals 0 0.25. Whoops, that's not... 0 0.25, that's 0 0.50, 0 0.5. Then press second FD to change your fraction to a decimal, equals, and that equals 1 half. Then I'd like you to write the denominator using exponential notation. So 2 using an exponent would be 2 to the first power. The next problem, 2 to the negative 2. So we enter 2 raised to the negative 2 power equals, and that equals 0 0.25. Convert that to a fraction using second FD. That gives you 1 fourth. Now, write the denominator using exponents. Writing 4, you can break down 4 into 2 times 2. So you can replace 4 with 2 raised to the second power. Go ahead and complete the rest of this section, and then resume the video. Let's take a look at the pattern that we see formed when we are using exponents. Going from 2 squared, which is 4, to 2 to the first, which is 2. Notice that if you divide 4 by the base of 2, the answer is 2. And then if you take this answer and you divide by the base of 2, the answer is 1. And if you take 1 and divide it by the base of 2, 1 divided by 2 is 1 half. Then take 1 half and divide it by the base of 2. 1 half divided by 2 is 1 fourth. 1 fourth divided by the base of 2 is 1 eighth. So that may have surprised you that 2 to the 0 power is equal to 1 and not 0. Well, um, talk about that a little bit more when we continue. What we want to look for here is how to write a base with um, a negative exponent, how to write it with a positive exponent. That was our essential question. What happens when you raise a base to a negative exponent? We can rewrite that using an equivalent fraction and write it with a positive exponent. So notice that the 2 became the denominator, and the exponent, which was negative 3, is now positive 3. Let's take a look at the next section. So we have 3 squared is equal to 9. If we divide that by the base of 3, we get 3 to the first. Then to get from 3 to the first to 3 to the zeroth power, we divide by the base of 3, and that shows us that the answer is 1. And again, you may have been surprised that 3 to the 0 power is equal to 1. And did you notice that 2 to the 0 power is also equal to 1? We'll talk about that more on the next page. So continuing now, what happens when we go into the negatives? So our exponents have gone from 2 to 1 to 0 and going following a pattern to negative 1. What happens is that your base is in the denominator now. And then your exponent, instead of being negative 1, is positive 1. 
And then notice that 3 squared was equal to 9 but 3 to the negative 2 is equal to 1 9th, which is the reciprocal of 9. And what would 3 to the third power be? Well, 3 times 3 times 3 is equal to 27. And notice that 3 to the negative 3 power is 1 27th. Again, that's the reciprocal of the base, but with a positive exponent. So our definition, for any positive number x and for any positive integer n, we can define x to the negative n as 1 over x to the n power. How that works is that you use the reciprocal. The reciprocal of the base. But with a positive exponent. Note that this definition of negative exponents says that x to the negative 1 power is just the reciprocal of x. So the reciprocal of the base, x as a fraction would be x over 1. So the reciprocal is 1 over x. And there's the 1 over x. And then instead of using a negative exponent, since we're using the reciprocal, we use a positive exponent. So x to the negative 1 is equal to 1 over x to the positive 1. Continuing that logic, we have 5 to the negative 1. So we use 1, we use the reciprocal of 5. 5 as a fraction is 5 over 1. The reciprocal is 1 over 5. And we just make the negative 1 a positive 1. 10 to the negative 1. To write a base with a negative exponent, as a positive exponent, you use the reciprocal of the base. The reciprocal of 10 is 1 tenth. And then we write that with a positive exponent. As a consequence of the definition, for a positive x and all integers b, we get x to the negative b power as equal to the reciprocal of x, which is 1 over x, with a positive exponent of b. Let's do a couple of problems together. We have 5 to the negative 2. Because the exponent is negative and we want to write it with a positive exponent, we use the reciprocal of the base. The reciprocal of 5 is 1 fifth. And then we make the exponent positive. b, x to the negative third. Because the exponent is negative, we rewrite this using the reciprocal of x, which is 1 over x. And then we make the exponent positive. So these are actually equivalent to each other. 4 to the negative 7th, so we use the reciprocal of 4, which is 1 fourth. And we still need to raise the 4 to the 7th power. Those are equivalent expressions. a to the negative 4th. Since the exponent is negative, we use the reciprocal of a, which is 1 over a. We still have to raise it to the fourth power. So again, you're using the reciprocal of the base, but with a positive exponent. Example e. Now notice that one of the exponents is negative and one of them is positive. So we want to use the reciprocal of a because of the negative 4. So the reciprocal of a would be 1 over a. And we still need to raise that to the fourth power. And then b to the sixth power stays b to the sixth power. So we can write that over 1. So that would be times b to the sixth power over 1. And then to simplify that, we simply write that as b to the sixth power over a to the fourth power. So look again carefully at what we just did to solve that problem. The exponent for a was negative, so we took that and we wrote it as 1 over a to the fourth. Okay, so there's the a to the fourth in the denominator. And then b to the sixth, if you wrote it as a fraction, would be b to the sixth over 1. And then you multiply that. 1 times b over 6 is simply b over 6, and a to the fourth times 1 is a to the fourth. So notice again what happened to your negative exponent went into the denominator and the positive exponent stayed in the numerator. Okay. For the next one, 3 is a whole number, so that's simply 3 over 1. 
2 to the negative 4. Because of the negative, we write the reciprocal of 2, which is 1 half, and we still need to raise the 2 to the fourth power. Multiply, and we get 3 in our numerator and 2 to the fourth in the denominator. We could simplify that further if we chose to, and it's a small number, so it's easy to do. 2 to the fourth means 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, times 2 is 16. So that would equal 3 sixteenths. Either one of those answers is acceptable. For the next problem, we have x times y to the negative 4. Now, x is simply x over 1. And to rewrite y to the negative fourth with a positive exponent, we use the reciprocal of y, which is 1 over y. We still need to raise y to the fourth power. You can simplify that, and I'm going to put the answer over here. This is equal to well, x times 1 is x, and 1 times y to the fourth is y to the fourth. So again, look at the problem and look at the answer. Notice that x, which has a positive exponent of 1, stays in the numerator, and the negative exponent caused the y to the fourth to go to the de denominator. Okay. Letter i. We have 7 to the 16th over 17 to the 3rd. And this is simply a problem where you are dividing numbers that have or they have the same base and different exponents. So here, you just use the quotient of powers rule, which says that if the base is the same, you subtract the exponents. So that would be 17, and then 16 minus 3 is equal to 17 to the 13th power. Next, write it right with a negative exponent. So notice here that we have 1 over 2 to the 4th. And what we're actually doing is the opposite of what we just did. Let's take a look at the problems above where we had 1 over 2 to the 3rd and 1 over 2 squared. Okay, so here we have 1 over 2 to the 3rd, and that was equal to 2 to the negative 3, and 1 over 2 squared, which is equal to 2 to the negative 2. So if you want to take the denominator which has a positive exponent and rewrite it with a negative exponent, you use the reciprocal. So then the reciprocal of 1 half is 2. And then since you've used the reciprocal, you change the sign of the exponent. So you think, what would 1 over 2 to the fourth be? Well, your base is 2 and then your 4 would be negative. So 2 to the negative 4 is equal to 1 over 2 to the 4th. Again, look carefully at the problem and the answer. We previously worked from this step to this step, and now we're working the other way. So 1 over 3 to the 4th would be the reciprocal of 1 third is 3, and since you've used the reciprocal, you change the sign of the exponent, so it is negative. 1 over 6 to the 8th, since it's in the denominator, we use the reciprocal of 1 sixth, which is 6, and make the exponent negative. 1 divided by x to the 9th, the reciprocal of 1 over x is x, and make the exponent negative. So again, we were just undoing what we did in the previous section. So let's take a look now at lesson four. And this focus was on numbers raised to the zero power. What is the value of any base raised to the zero power? So let's, in this first section, it says simplify using division. Three divided by three is one. 101 divided by 101 is one. X divided by X is 1. 5 to the 8th power divided by 5 to the 8th power is 1. We know that with the identity property, any number divided by itself is 1. Next, simplify using exponent law of division. The exponent law of division says that if the base is the same, and these are both 5, that you simply subtract the exponents. 
8 minus 3. And that gives you 5 to the fifth power. In our next problem, we have 5 as a common base, and so we subtract our exponents, 8 minus 8. And that gives us 5 to the 0 power. So what do you notice about problems 4 and 6? Problem 4 is 5 to the 8th divided by 5 to the 8th. Number 6 is 5 to the 8th divided by 5 to the 8th. So they're the same problem. How do the answers relate to each other? Well, the answer to number 4 is 1, and the answer to number 6 is 5 to the 0 power. How do the answers relate? They are equivalent. We know that if these numbers are equal and they both equal the same number, then those numbers are equal as well. Let me say that again. If 5 divided 5 to the 8th divided by 5 to the 8th equals 1 and 5 to the 8th divided by 5 to the 8th also equals 5 to the 0 power. Since these are the same problem, then these answers must be equal. So what that shows is that 5 to the 0 power is equal to 1. On the previous page, you learned that 2 to the 0 power equaled 1, and 3 to the 0 power equals 1. So hopefully what you're seeing is that all of the numbers to the 0 power will equal 1. Definition. For any positive number x, x to the 0 power equals 1. Okay, we're going to simplify these expressions starting with a. We have 9 to the 15th times 9 to the negative 10th times 9 to the negative 5th. And we know that there is a product of powers rule that says that if you're multiplying the same base, which is 9, 9, and 9, that you simply add their exponents. So we have 9, and then we add the exponents, 15 plus negative 10 plus negative 5. Negative 10 plus negative 5 is negative 15. 15 plus negative 15 is 0. So this is equal to 9 to the 0 power. 9 to the 0 power is equal to 1. 4 to the 10th divided by 4 to the 10th. This is the quotient of powers rule that says that if you are dividing the same base, you subtract the exponents. So we have a base of 10, subtract our exponents. That gives us an exponent of 0. 4 to the 0 power is equal to 1. Letter C, negative 2 to the 0 power. What do you think about negative 2 to the 0 power? Do you think that it will also be 1? Try it on your calculator. Now, when you try it on your calculator, did you use the parentheses? If you entered negative 2 raised to the 0 power, the answer is negative 1. If you entered the negative 2 with parentheses, then your answer would be 1. Because remember that the negative without the parentheses negates the answer. So negative or positive 2 to the 0 power is equal to 1. And then the negative negates that answer. So it's a negative 1. But if you use parentheses, then the answer is 1. So again, the answer to this question is negative 1. Our rule is for any positive number x. x is equal to 1, or x to the 0 power is equal to 1. So you want to pay careful attention to that. And remember, if you mean to use parentheses, then use them. Problem D, a over b to the 0 power. So we have a to the 0 power divided by b to the 0 power. Well, that would be 1 over 1, which is equal to 1. And e, 8 squared to the 0 power. Now, here's where you're taking an exponent to a power. So follow the powers to power rule. The power to a power rule says 8 squared to the 0 power. The power to a power rule said to multiply your exponents. So that gives us 8, and then we multiply our exponents. Well, that gives you 8 to the 0 power, which still equals 1. In this lesson, we have covered 
um, negative exponents and zero exponents. We learned that any number to the zero power is one. And I guess we should clarify that any number and say any positive number. To simplify and write equivalent expressions that contain negative exponents, remember to write the reciprocal of the base with a positive exponent. For example, x to the negative n power equals 1 over x to the n power. 